I'll tell you what, there's a Brazilian uh, a Brazilian jail I read about earlier on, and they were doing... Um, uh, brilliant. It's a way of getting people to, to take take time off their time to uh, is like uh, read a book. If you've read a book and you come back and you wrote a report about the book and they thought the report was good, or you wrote a detailed report about the book to show that you've read it, they'd take four days off your sentence. So they're educating people by that, and also people are able to uh, take, you know, use it as an incentive to take time off their uh, sentence. That's fucking brilliant. And like, you know, and why wouldn't you do it for starters? Because you're going to look shorten your sentence, and then because you the people have been educated, they're not likely to go back to crime because they're probably going to find a job and they're like got more more about themselves. At the same time. You could be clever and just ordering the thinnest books that you could find. I'll tell you what, the perfect range, I've got it, the perfect range of books for you. The Mr. Men range. Order Mr. Men. Every single one of them. There's about 50. There's, they're about 10 pages long. And that's it. And they're fucking so easy to read. And they're good. They're interesting. <laughs> you, know, you won't get any much life skills out of it apart from fucking being able to tickle people from a really long distance with Mr. Tickle. But there's like, you know, you got Mr. Tickle, Mr. Small, Mr. Bump, and, and how to be uh, clumsy with Mr. Bump. Uh, I don't know what other ones, can't remember them all now, but uh, Mr. Square, you could be that one. Um, but you'll have, your, you'll have your sentence down to fucking nothing in no time reading them. There you go. So yeah, always thinking. That's because I've read the Mr. Men books. I've got a bit of brains about me.